that was by far the hugest, largest port pass I've ever seen. So, Kingsley, uh, sorry, Wesley have not, certainly have not uh, brushed up on that. I'm sure their coaches would have had a word with them. A few harsh words must have gone around in the camp about their ball handling, but uh, Wesley seems to have picked up from where they started in their ball handling. And certainly in the excellence coming, but the rim has awarded a penalty for walking around, he says. That's an excellent run once again. Referee playing an advantage. And he stopped time. Looks like he's got a card the player. Nothing serious, just a warning there. Kings are going for the points here. good but no he's uh, pushed it a bit too far so it'll be a 20 to drop out Kings would certainly have been threatening the Wesley line here they need Wesley have Wesley have taken the kick but the refs, ref has called it back and the boys have not heard the whistle the hard punch has been thrown but uh, yeah that's the nature of the game just a few words, quite normal in a game of rugby. Well, they should look to go long. They're taking the short, short option. With Kingsford on the charge right now, didn't doesn't seem to look a good option, but that's excellent counter rocking by Wesley, and they won themselves the ball, and it has been knocked forward by Kingsford. Excellent defense on the number eight by Kingswood once again. Best the need to look to spread this ball wide, because their forwards are gonna tie, uh, gonna tire out. They need to get their backs into this game. So far, they've they've not been in the game, and the only ball they have been getting, they've seemed to knock it on or throw a forward pass. That is just a very poor kick. They've just given opportunity to Kingsford. They've given that ball right over to them. And Kingsford will spread it wide here. That look forward. And yes, a red pass. Oh, he is playing the advantage. That should be a penalty. You can't dive on the ball as such and you need to give daylight according to the new rules. The new rules give the player a lot of time to the ball carry and yes he has yellow carded him. In the current context of the game that is a 
serious uh, mistake to do. You obviously stop stopping the flow of the flow of the game. And the new rules allow the ball carrier that uh, brief three seconds to place the ball. And in this case, the Kingswood tackler not letting the ball carrier play the ball, and they call it not giving daylight. So that be the reason for the penalty here. The Kings should have a good attacking platform here. They really need to capitalize on this. They really need the points because their players are a big more bigger than the Kings would play. Then they will seem to tie, but they made a mess of this line out as well. And Kings should spreading it wide here. They have speed on the outside, and that's an excellent run. But uh, Wesley have come up with a bit of defense now. Wesley counter attack in here and that's an excellent tackle. They need to get numbers here Wesley if they are win this ball. But it has come out on the Kingswood side. Kingswood with the ball once again. And he stayed his lines. Wesley with the ball once again and he's run on the outside which was a good decision but he needs support with him. Once again, Guyan making certain, certainly making a lot of inroads here. The Kingswood forwards are certainly not at the last foot. They certainly seem to be a bit offside over here. Uh, especially when it comes into that uh, rough defense, they're certainly a foot ahead. Wesley have room on the outside but once again they've made a mess of this as well and they're certainly lo losing a lot of opportunities I'm sure the coaching staff will be very frustrated the refs call for time Just calling up a uh, player from either side And the ref's gone with a penalty for Wesley for the tackler not rolling away here. Wesley have chosen to go for touch and this by far will be the best opportunity they've had in the Kingswood 22. They need to get this ball right into the middle of that line and get a good mall in work. But they've decided to go with the front peel which has not worked and they lost the ball again. The ref will come back for advantage for the initial knock-on. Oh no, he's gone with a knock-on to knock on against a uh, knock-on by Kingsford. So Wesley have an opportunity once again. Scrum has collapsed, so uh, it'll be a reset. The 
It's a pickup by the number eight. The rest of it a good opportunity here. They need to use their forwards once again, but the referee's blown for a penalty. And that is really, really poor rugby by the players. Once you have the decision in your favor, keep your mouth shut and just play the game. But the Wesley, one of the Wesley boys speaking against the ref or thinking he knows more than the ref there. The ref reversing the penalty, but Kingsford failing to put the ball into touch. And this is an excellent run here. Wesley once again with an opportunity. So they're getting plenty of opportunity, but they're not they don't seem to be able to capitalize on the opportunities they've been getting so far in the game. Once again, the, the ball's just slipped out of his hands. Kings would need to get out of jail here. Uh, not a great kick. Once again, Kings would on the attack. But that's good defense by the Kingswood forwards. They were right up there. Wesley have got no defenders behind and But Wesley have turned over the ball. They put in a little chip. This is a good chip. And he has been pulled back. That's certainly a penalty. That should be a penalty try. He was certainly pulled back the player, if not a definite yellow card. Uh, players taking the game into their own hands. A little bit of punching, but that's always nice to see in a game of rugby. Bit of pushing and shoving, that's, that's all in all what you get in a game of rugby. So it's just a penalty here. Certainly looked a bit more serious than a penalty. But the ref's right always in this game, so best they will have to do with the penalty here. They have scored. Guyan there. He's been excellent all day. He's been the tough one out there. And he's certainly done good for his college. Some of the Wesley Ford celebrating here, but uh, they don't have much to celebrate about. There's just one try, and there's a lot of time remaining. They need to focus on this game. They need to keep their heads in the game. Because Kingswood will certainly look to hit back. The kick is good. So Wesley lead the scorecard for the first time of the in the game. They're leading Kingsford here by 12 points to 10. It's a two-point game, can go anywhere. And Kingsford will certainly look to hit back here. It's a lovely kick. Just what your forwards asked for. But Wesley have come out with it. They need to clear their lines here. They decided to run with it and he's made a break. He needs support. And that should be a penalty. Yes, the ref is playing advantage. Kingswood certainly have been using a lot of hands in the rock. The ref really needs to sort this matter out. He came from the side and he put his hand in and 
directly an yellow card that's fair that is a very fair yellow card he came in from the side and he just put his hands in this is the most basic rule in rugby you cannot put your hands in the rock uh, not a great kick here by Kings uh, by Wesley but they'll take what they can at this time at this period Kings would have on the ball. The ref says he, the gap was closed. So it's a free kick to Wesley. Kings had just got back into their 15 men and they lost the play duty yellow card. This this might be a red card here. Oh, he's yellow carded the Wesley player. Really don't know what's happening here. A really bit of confusing decisions by the referee really don't know what that yellow card was for uh, the Kingsford player certainly put in a illegal and dangerous tackle there and uh, that is a if the player's head is below his waist then it's a red card offense that's certainly what we saw here but uh, we have decided to yellow card the Wesley player we don't know what that's for but now both teams with 14 men It's a penalty for Kingsford. They really need to take this fast. Wesley are short on defenders, and Kingsford have taken the quick tap. And it's another penalty. Kingsford on the attack once again. They're spreading the wall wide. Excellent, excellent defense by Wesley here. Should have numbers on the outside. This will be a oh no, that's once again excellent defense by Wesley. That is simply outstanding. That's what you want from your players out there. That extra bit of commitment, that extra bit of speed out on the outside. Okay, should have, have gone with the quick tap, but it has been knocked forward. That looked like the kick went forward and and he didn't have any hands on it but the ref has seen it and he's given it as a knock-on crowd is certainly not happy
obviously they will look to clear their lines here. But no, they decided to run. Not the best option when you're under pressure in your 22, but Wesley still got the ball to play with. And finally they clear their lines uh, straight into the Kingswood winger. And he's run. He really needs to offload there. He had players on the outside. And the mark has been called. The referee pulling it all the way back for a penalty. should have decided to go for the points here. They really need this kick to go through. He has hooked the kick. They really needed those points. But West is still on top here. on the attack once again. Both these sides really need to stop shoveling that ball from one player to another. They're just creating more pressure on it and they're just running back at the moment. And Wesley have won the ball. If you're going to offload those balls in the tackles, your ball handling needs to be up to the mark. But both these sides have been very poor in their ball handling and by just shoveling the ball around they're just putting themselves into more trouble and that makes the ball handling look even even poor the three second rule certainly not in effect today i'm not sure if they have applied it to uh, to the school stage as yet but it's certainly being used in the international and uh, club games where you cannot have the ball behind uh, behind the rock for more than three seconds the scrum off needs to use it or if not it would be a free kick to the opposition that's a lovely kick kings are looking to run it off that 22 but he's put himself in trouble and wesley will have a line out in the opposite 22 Wesley really need to try and maul this, having the heavier set of forwards and the advantage that they really need to try and maul these Kingswood uh, forwards. They're gone with that front peel once again. 
They still got the ball. Presley keeping it close to their forwards. They keep it really close to their forwards here. But the Kingsford forwards have been up to the mark and the ref has noticed that they're offside in that rock. And he's blown for a penalty but the quick tap has been taken. Wesley moving forward once again. Desperate time for the Kingsford defense. They really need to watch that offside line. The offside line at the rock is the last foot, but due to it being the try line, they can stand on that try line, but they really need to watch that half an inch. And he's awarded the try. So Wesley have scored once again. And the fourth really stepping up to this game. They're certainly making inroads into the Kingsfordian defense and their forwards have come through with a really outstanding try, a totally individual effort, uh, effort by their forwards here. The kick is good. So Wesley up in the scorecard, 19 points to 10. The Kingswood will have to score twice if they are to get in the lead. Wesley now will just look to keep it close to their forwards and need as much time as possible. They put a lovely kick. The Wesley boys are certainly look to be they certainly look to be fired up with these last two tries. They got it. They come there in numbers to the breakdown and yes, they have won the ball. It is a scrum to a, uh, to Wesley. Kings would need to keep calm here. They need to know that uh, they can do it. They still have a huge chance at winning this game. They just need to keep calm, keep focused, get the basics right, play that game of uh, play that game they were playing in the first half using their backs. They really need to get, win that ball and just get it to their backs. But we see the Wesley backs are now starting to get into this game. Their ball handling certainly have it has improved during the course of the last 10, 15 minutes. Wesley once again using their forwards here.
they certainly make a lot of progress with those big boys and they've been working so hard but King should have driven them back in this one this move Gaian once again with a huge hit there. They're certainly running into their hits upright. That does not help. You need to be in a lower position than that in, in order to get more more uh, more ground as we saw there. Gaian, perfect body position, perfect body angle and making a lot of ground. Because they decide to spread it wide, but the Kingsford defense have come up to it. Wesley have, have the ball and using their forwards once again. Once again using the old pick and go. From which they have been doing it well, they have been creating a lot of ground. And Guyan once again he certainly played well. He certainly played his heart out today. Wesley still with the ball. It's a penalty to Wesley. They have decided to go with the quick tap, and I, I don't think there's 10 meters there. Anyway, the ref has called play back for the same penalty. Gone for the option of the line out. I would we, I would really love to see the Wesley Fords trying to trying them all here because they certainly have not tried it today and they've been persisting with the front field which has not worked. This time it's a hit in the middle. And it's a scrum down to uh, Kingsford. The ref says there's been a knock on. So the scrum for Kingsford. Ideally Kingsford will be will be looking to clear their lines. Kingsford, uh, Wesley have got their back three back in defense. And it's a knock on and it's advantage towards to Wesley. And it's another try. So the Wesley Fords doing it once again for Wesley. They worked it, they played their hearts out today and they certainly deserve that try. So Wesley leads the uh, uh, points, 24 points to 10. Uh, sadly, a 
tough game, but Kingsford have Kingsford seem to have uh, seem to have stopped playing after that first half, and Wesley have certainly uh, turned themselves on. They have cut down on their bad ball handling, and they've seen the forwards carry the ball a bit more than more than they did in the first half, and uh, certainly working for them. And the kick is good. So kicks will lead 26 points to 10. West has certainly seemed to have fired up now. They're certainly playing in a more aggressive fashion. They're carrying the ball harder, uh, running faster. But the kicks really need to improve right now. So Kingsford with the opportunity here, and yes, it is a penalty. The ref is look going to his pocket once again. He's certainly free in handing out cards, and that's another yellow card. I uh, don't know if he's trying to look fair in the eyes of the spectators. That didn't look like a yellow card offense. Uh, but yeah, the game goes on and Kingsford with the ball. So the Kingsford backs back in this game. They're certainly running and stepping. The game is certainly not over. They still have a huge chance in winning this game. And he's found a gap. It's run right through the middle. Kings would have numbers on the outside here. They really need to get the ball, they need to get it wide here and it's a it's a penalty. Kings would have taken the quick tap, they really need to get it wide here. Ref has gone back for another penalty. Uh, for the defending team not being 10 meters behind. They're spreading it wide here. They have numbers on the outside, but now the Wesley defense in place. He cuts in. He's running right across the field. <laughs> Did not make any progress there. That's another penalty to Kingsford. But the Western defense has been good so far. That's another penalty and he's going to his pocket once again.
that's another yellow card. Simply had a lot of yellow cards today. He has awarded the try. So Kings would have scored here. So they certainly have not stopped fighting. They need to get this kick over soon and uh, get that uh, collect the kick off well and get right back into the game. Kick is not over, so the score is 26 points to 15 in favor of Wesley. they have got the ball here they'll just look to keep it close to their forwards and uh, use as much as time much of the time not going anywhere at the moment. Kingsford defense has been up and Kingsford have got the ball on their side and that's just poor ball handling. But there has been a knock on so it will be Kingsford ball. That will be a scrum in favor of Kingsford here. Kingsford really need to score fast. They need two scores two tries or two goals a penalty and a try would not help at this moment or even a goal for that matter Kings are 11 points behind they really need to get this ball out to their backs as fast as possible get it out to their wings and let them do the scoring uh, Kingsford making a mess of this once again and Kingsford Wesley have kicked this ball ahead but it looks like it will go dead and the ball has gone into the dead goal area well the ref has called for a knock on an initial knock on by Kingsford so it will be Wesley ball once again
Wesley just using up the time here, keeping it close to their forwards and just picking, picking and going on to either side. They're just wasting up the time here. Uh, pretty good play in, when you're in such a position. Kingston really had to find a way to turn this ball over and get started once again. Wesley on the charge here. That's an excellent run. Guyan once again crunching it up. Wesley have another opportunity to get right back here. And he's blown for the end of the match and Wesley have come out winners uh, leading the scorecard 26 points to 15.